Hi, I'm Eric. This is my wife Gina, my son Riker. We are Narrow Road Van Conversions and we're super excited to do a walkthrough of our brand new 2019 Ram Promaster. Why don't you come on in and take a look around. We've got two swivel seats. It's an off-center swivel so it gives you a little bit more room. We've got some extra storage up top here which is kind of your standard storage in a Promaster 3500. One of the things we used to maximize was uh, the seating area. So we've got both seats, of course, swivel. Um, this would kind of be a great dual space for driving and sitting and eating and enjoying a meal together. This also would swivel out for some extra prep area um, in the kitchen. It rotates right back in to its spot. It can lock down. It's a lagoon swivel table. Lots of storage in here. We've got full depth upper cabinets that uh, pivot up on hydraulic shocks. We've got um, a uh, kind of a wardrobe or for hanging clothes area here. Uh, closet, full depth. Three full depth uh, drawers that fully come out on here. So lots of storage. And we've got a propane heater here uh, for heating and temperatures such as this. Um, moving up, we got a refrigerator here. So we've got a full refrigerator and a full freezer. Um, so you can have ice cream because that's important on your travels to be able to have the finer things. And we also have um, a locking um, bungee here with a ball that locks into the refrigerator so when you're driving down the road you don't end up with a gallon of milk spilt all over the over the floor so that keeps that shut and tight. Uh, moving backwards on this side we've got a full shower uh, so in here we have hot water, cold water in the shower we've got a uh, toilet and in this particular one we chose to do a urine diverting toilet we could of course do any kind of toilet, a cassette toilet or a composting toilet in here, but this is a dual purpose um, uh, toilet. One of the things that we did that's a little bit different than most areas in the shower area, we've got um, full half inch PVC is the whole shower is made out of that. So it's not that thin um, plastic stuff that you see in RVs, it's a thick PVC and everything in here is made out of that, so nothing's going to rust or corrode or uh, tarnish. The uh, it, everything in here is stainless steel. Um, the 500-pound brackets that the toilet sits on are stainless steel, so nothing is going to corrode. We've got a um, shower door that's self-retracting and uh, self-cleaning shower door, so that saves space on that side. Uh, moving around the corner here, we've got a, a bench seat that helps you jump up and get into bed. Um, the bed is a fixed bed, uh, and I'll show you a little bit more about that later. So the bench can come out, and you've got a lot of space down in there, and even all the way back up underneath uh, for storage. Again, lots of space, all utilized for um, whatever you might be storing, taking along. And above that, we got another full length drawer um, to store some stuff. Um, full length drawer below the oven. And we have a propane oven here also. Um, so it's important to be able to cook some brownies or some cookies when you're on the road. You can't suffer without brownies and cookies. Uh, and then there's a cooktop, and this swivels up, the countertop does, to expose the. Uh, um, cooktop again this is a propane cooktop it latches up here also so if you're moving and you won't accidentally come down fall down and and uh, smash down um, in here behind this we've got um, some magnetic spice racks um, for cooking and the storage and compartments up above I had these uh, fold down so the thought behind that was that you could have your spices or other cooking utensils because I know when you're cooking there's always a, a big demand on counter space. So we've got this for some extra storage. You can put stuff up here while you're cooking. Um, we've got the sink cutting board that fits in there also for extra 
space when you're not using the sink. Um, pretty good size deep sink, so for doing dishes. Again, hot and cold water. Um, next to it, we've got um, purified uh, drinking water. It's a three-stage filter. Um, on the drinking water, I guess now is a good time to talk a little bit more about the water. Uh, we've got a 33-gallon uh, fresh water storage tank, and all this drains down into a 13-gallon gray water tank. So everything drains into that. And up here, um, we've got a light switch above the oven, so which is nice because um, without having to have all the lights on, you can just have one light that you can have on if someone's sleeping and trying to get some rest back here. Um, right next to it here, we've got uh, the battery monitor. This is the information station on all the electric. Um, it really gives, it's your main brain of uh, how the charging happens, and we'll talk a little bit more about that later. The next button right over here next to that is the gray water tank that I was talking about. This is a um, ball switch, uh, ball valve, that when you click it, it electronically opens, and you can drain the gray water tank wherever you feel responsibly you can uh, dump it. So um, you don't have overfills of that with the 33 gallons coming in and uh, 13 holding uh, for the out. So underneath the sink we've got uh, um, cabinets, um, got our uh, water uh, filtration, three-stage water filtration system under here. So we got your three-stage water filtration system tucked under here um, and really tried to tuck everything back far so there's plenty of space for a garbage can or whatever else you might uh, want to utilize in here. Um, now might be a good time to tell you about the cabinet faces. Everything in here is custom, custom cabinetry, nothing standard. Cabinet faces here are all a stacked wood uh, that's custom made. Um, the outside frames are hickory, so they're real solid door. Everything else is three quarter inch solid plywood, so um, really solidly built. It was really um, built with uh, obviously lots of vibration in mind and uh, the moving and the jostling that comes along with driving down the road. Um, I talked a little bit earlier about how we tried to utilize a lot of space. Um, everything is um, secured to the frame of the van. I know a lot of people fur things out. Um, I went with um, actually going through a lot of trouble to connect everything to the framework of the van, which again maximizes your extra space. Really important when it comes to the bed because these vans are not very wide and we can sleep sideways in this van compared to other vans where you usually have to sleep forward and backwards. So a full-size queen mattress and again you can sleep sideways so that saves you a little bit of extra space here so you can have some storage. We got three big storage bins in the back, two storage, more storage bins up above the um, oven area for that. Um, back here, these everything is are on hydraulic. Um, and these are again our full depth uh, cabinets. Um, all secured to the frame of the van, so we're really utilizing all the space that's available in here. The main light switch is right here on your way into the van when you're coming up. You can just tap it, turns the lights on, tap it, turns it off, um, back on, and then you press and hold it and it will dim to uh, whatever setting you want, all the way down to 10%. You can hold it and it brightens right back up to 100%. All right, a little bit more about the electrical system. Um, the lights, uh, we've got uh, a light in the shower. We talked about the light above the st uh, stove. The light above the shower has got its own switch inside the shower. Uh, it's lighted, so at night um, you're not searching for the light switch. It's also waterproof, so it, it can be in the shower. That goes on and off in there. A um, little bit more about the electrical. Um, we have a fantastic vent fan in the ceiling. And I've got the remote control around here, so on a hot night, summer night, um, you can grab the remote control uh, right next to the bed and you can hit the uh, automatic open and uh, fan. So automatically opens, automatically closes. It's got a thermostat on it, so at night if it starts out real hot, you can set the thermostat on it and it will slow the fan down uh, throughout the night so it doesn't freeze you out. Everything's automatic. It's the uh, top of the line fantastic vent uh, 
fan. So the bed will pivot up so that you can have it facing out the back. You can sit up in bed and look out the back, whether it's the ocean view or a drive-in movie, you could sit and enjoy that. Um, there's these legs here that uh, are up in a locked position. Press the button, rotate them out into the locked out position. They come down and catch here on the frame so that you're locked in the upright position nice and safe. This is also where you can look in and access some of the electrical components. You can see um, our DC um, fuses there, so if you had to change a fuse, it's all readily accessible from inside. If you ever had any work done on the van, you've got your main on and off power right here. Watch, I can click and that cuts all the power to the entire van uh, in the back. Um, you can see the green, uh, there's an inverter charger there too. Uh, we haven't talked about the electrical system quite yet, but um, that runs all the uh, 110 volt outlets around here. So again, we have 110 volt and 12 volt DC run throughout the whole van. Um, there's four batteries that uh, power all the uh, electrical components, uh, four 100 amp hour batteries. Um, the inverter and the charger is one of the methods, well that's what makes the um, 120 AC that runs all the outlets, but it also is a charger. So there, on the outside we'll show you a plug-in where you can plug into shore power and that will charge your batteries and also then that will run all the outlets on the inside. So that's one of the ways to charge the batteries. There's two other ways to charge the batteries, which we haven't taken a look at yet. Um, up on top, we've got three 100 uh, watt solar panels up there. So those are constantly charging the batteries. Right now they're charging it in a bright sunny day. Um, the third way to charge the batteries is the vehicle alternator. So when the vehicle's running, it has a voltage sensing relay in it that um, senses when the cranking battery is up in full power, it then sends the uh, current back to our four batteries back here, then charging the batteries. So when you're running around, you're charging your batteries and it keeps everything up tip top, topped off so you can um, run uh, all the electrical po components. The inverter charger, by the way, is uh, 2,500 watts. So you can run uh, Vitamix, you can run, it runs quite a bit. It'll also run um, up to 4,500 watts for 60 seconds. So if you have something that spikes um, when you turn it on, it can run a lot more, but it can consistently run at 2,500 watts. Uh, you have an issue with something, it's all right here, right on top. You can see all the plumbing in here. If anybody ever needs to access it, um, figure out what's going on, maintenance anything, very easy to get in and out. We've got um, valves up here for uh, air compressor to plug into to um, purge the system for winterizing. So being up here in Minnesota, that's one of the things that's important to me. Um, having built uh, a lot of cabins and done a lot of plumbing in cabins, I know a lot about winterizing uh, small spaces. So we've got PEX tubing, which again is very freeze resistant and uh, uh, easily um, winterized water system here so if you just run in for the weekend you can turn it on turn it off so we've got the steps are uh, a ladder here that's uh, expandable that you can use to climb up in the back you can also set that up and climb up on the top where there's a full-size deck uh, 12 foot deck up there and full width for sitting up setting your lawn chairs out and the only the front 42 inches of the upper deck is the solar panels so a couple other things that are nice in this bedroom area is we have these awning windows that open up. Um, really nice on those hot summer days when you got the, you can have the roof vent um, sucking in and this will blow in across the bed on this side and across the um, head side of the bed also. So that'll be a great um, air conditioning in the hot summertime. Over here you've got your 12 volt outlets for charging your phone. There's one on this side. And there's one on the other side because everybody always has to charge their phones at the exact same time. I think that's a rule. Back here we've got some reading lights up here too. So when you're sitting up in bed, um, you've got some reading lights for reading a book and looking out the back. We talked about how you can open it from this side, but you can lift it up, put these legs both down here, and it goes back down into the bed area. So we've got this shelf over here in the corner, um, which is a nice place to store your phones and your keys when you're sleeping so everything's nice and safe um, where you know it is, where it is. You got a 
uh, regular uh, household outlet here for charging your laptop or or phones uh, also a 12 volt outlet for charging phones up here we have the remote for the ceiling uh, vent that we demonstrated earlier we've got the heating uh, thermostat for the heater below that we got the safety uh, carbon monoxide detector and propane detector same thing on this side they come up and it's got a couple of legs that uh, lock out into a super reclining position there so you can face forward at night um, when you're sitting up in bed you could have a ceiling mounted television or iPad holder uh, to watch movies at night and um, sit up and settle in before bed so we can take the flatter um, collapses down on its own and clicks up and stores right in here so you don't have people you know instead of having a permanent ladder on the outside where people um, when you're remote camping you know climbing up and down this keeps everything nice and safe so back here on this side is where all the plumbing is um, again I made some easy access areas trying to get in so you can see things or operate things or winterize and there's the water heater you can kind of see the water tank up and in there um, we've got a hot and cold water back here so you could um, open this up too there's another latch this comes out here you can plug this in and hang this up and take an outdoor shower if you want or you can hose off your mountain bike your motocross bike wash your dog um, anything so that's nice and easily uh, use so hot and cold water there again easy winterization uh, for draining here again along the theme of utilizing the space you can see that there's uh, a lot of space up here for storing things um, these quarter inch thick iron L frames are real strong uh, lots of storage back here um, plenty of room for you could even slot a mountain bike in and out of there so lots of storage space well thanks for taking the tour with us um, this is kind of our model home if you'd like to have us custom build a van for you we'd love to do that 